to be honest, I just wanted to make this video so I'll force myself to practice because it has been more than two weeks since I've touched my violin. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, we have a very special guest with me here today. <laughs> and it has been a very long while since I've posted a violin related video. I also realized that my old violin videos has been gaining a little bit of traction. My three years anniversary with my violin is coming soon and I'm going to prepare like a performance much like the second year anniversary with my violin which I was playing the riding concerto which some of you quite like it. Today I'm not yet going to perform any concerto yet. I am going to show you how I actually practice as an adult beginner violinist. There is a lot of comments in the previous <laughs> video saying like um Oh, you know, you are in your first week of playing the violin and you're using your four finger, first day and you're playing Tinker Tinker Little Star, blah 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 blah. But you have to know that as an adult beginner violinist, seriously, I think one of the pros is that your only limitation towards your potential is your mindset towards how much you can grow. If you are also an adult beginner violinist or you're just a violinist who doesn't have any tutors yet and you're trying to start off the violin by yourself, this video is for you, it's a reference. So disclaimer, my theory knowledge is very very limited. I will be explaining everything in layman's terms. First of all, for your violin, you have to tune it. So the first string is always G, D, A, E, certain sound. That's how I threw it, but I don't know, I'm gonna tune it again later, haha. <laughs> how I always practice is I would always practice in front of the mirror. I feel like when you practice in front of the mirror, you automatically like attempt to correct your posture. So your bow should always be perpendicular to the... What do you call this? Okay, your bow should always be parallel to the bridge. Yeah, that's what... That's how they... That's how they get it. And your pinky shouldn't be like that. I always do this. And your thumb shouldn't be like, like that. It should always be like this. Imagine you're holding an egg or you can even hold a real egg for this exercise. And you'll just play. So whenever I do this in front of the mirror, I will just automatically correct my form. As an adult beginner violinist, I know that my foundation is not very strong so all these kind of things i still have to take note on how to improve myself so after that i will practice some scales and scales is actually just uh do mi fa solatito i don't really know how to call scales actually wait let me why practice scales according to abrsm Practicing skills are an arpeggio plays an essential part in developing a player's skills. Time devoted to this exercise within practice and the coordination, string crossing, bow control, position changes, and tone production. Okay, you know what? To me personally, I feel like practicing skills just help my fingers to remember better where the positions are. So it kind of builds on my muscle memory. And actually, scales also includes arpeggios and harmonics, melodics, chromatic, dominant 7, diminish 7, yeah, things like that, which is actually quite fun and quite cool because it doesn't just sound normal and it's actually quite challenging as well. How I practice scales is, first of all, I'll just practice with a tuner. How I like to do it is I like to go from the main key and once I'm more familiar with that, I would practice the minor key right after the main, main key because I like to hear the difference and I think it helps me a lot in remembering the finger positions and remembering the difference between the lower third or like the normal third, things like that. Arpeggios is also what I'm practicing right after this.
And I'm practicing the pieces. It's all the same thing I'll practice in front of the mirror. Sometimes I will leave my tuner on, sometimes I wouldn't. Nowadays I'm trying to use more of my ear and to try to like rely less on the tuner. I'm also using a very old school metronome and I will always start at a lower pace if I'm like restarting my practice again which is like what I'm doing in this video. Just make sure that I got all the tempo correctly and most of the practices it will just sound like what you will be hearing in the background now or like in the video. If I didn't get a phrase right, I will play it again and again and again and again and again and again <laughs> yeah till I get it smoother and usually I will just end like very abruptly because I'm very tired. So this is just how I practice now as an adult beginner violinist probably resume my violin classes with my violin tutor when it's nearing to the exams which is probably in June or something like that if I'm actually going for the grade 5 ABRS and exams. TLDR, what I usually practice are my position with my bow and my bridge, my foundation still 
skills and arpeggios and for how I practice my pieces, it will be a lot of focusing on the intonation and the finger ring. There was one part you can tell like I was really trying to focus on how to, you know, shift up and down because my tutor gave me this very beautiful finger ring. And I'm struggling so hard even though it may look very simple like this but to me as an adult beginner violinist I'm not sure if it's the same for all violinists so you can tell me if you have like a tutor getting you other wow to me even though this is like a slow song it's much harder than like if you look at this Yeah, because I'm trying to get the intonation correctly and trying to expand the dynamics which is also a lot of things I'm trying to work on and I just hope with this video I will force myself to practice more if you haven't followed my beginner violinist Instagram page already you can do so sometimes I upload my practices over there and it will be all on the violin the view will be all on the violin that's all for this video. I hope you enjoy. I'll be going to a staycase soon next week and I'll film, you know, a four star hotel staycation with me. That's all for this video. Bye! Bam!